Good morning, y'all. How are you doing this morning? I'm actually just um up doing breakfast. But I was just actually standing out the window looking out the window, just thinking, I'm like, am I the only one that finds solace in uh the quietness of a house? And just looking out the window, reflecting on life and just thanking God for where you are, even though some of us may not be where we want to be, just the fact that we are where we are and we're far from where we used to be. And just knowing that we're going to, like God's going to take us even further. And I always tell you, I'm not here to push my religion on anyone or my beliefs, but that's just, I just figured I would just share what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, like we may not be where we want to be exactly, but at least we're moving towards that. We're moving towards that goal. We're moving towards those expectations of of uh, more. So um, stay in the fight. Keep going. Don't give up. It, it's rough. It, and, and it may seem rough and it may seem tough, but it's not impossible. We can do it and we're going to do it. We're going to make it. And um, yeah, so I just figured I would just come on real quick. I know I'm looking rough. I get it. <laughs> but it's about 8 a little after 8 30 um and i've been up well, it's about almost an hour and a half now so i just figured i would just share my thoughts um because i was just standing here looking like it's it's just so serene and so peaceful it's quiet it's still like you can have time to to think and to talk to god or you know meditate and and just just reflect so Right now, this was a moment of reflection for me. So, it is actually Sunday morning. So, um, again, we have a virtual church for our um, church because we're still not back in the building as of yet. So, I don't really have too much planned today besides going to church today. But um, if I do anything else, I'll take you along with me. But just remember that. Don't forget that it may not be what you want the situation may not be exactly how you want it but it's gonna get better believe me it will get better oh he went straight in the oh wow hey guys <laughs> i'm sorry these people out here be driving like they're my anyway how you doing it is sunday afternoon and i was just coming because what is up with these gas prices like four dollars and five cents for a gallon of gas are you smoking a pipe like i don't even understand but i thank god i had the money to pay for it so but these prices are ridiculous like oh my goodness however i'm driving so i'm gonna put the camera down but i just had to come up here real quick because these prices are bananas so I'll come back when I'm able to talk. Hey guys, so I'm actually back at home. Yeah. And I'm making Sunday dinner. So I'm actually about to bake some homemade um, cornbread. But what I like to do is put a little piece of butter inside of the skillet, put the skillet in the oven so that the butter will melt. Um, I'm making fried pork chops, cabbage, rice, and cornbread. I know, normally it's either or, but I'm gonna do rice and cornbread. So, let me finish preparing my cornbread. So, <laughs> pour in my butter. Nope, <laughs> this is milk. <laughs> know what I'm talking about pouring my butter to my milk my egg and my butter had a whisk already out but I did it I actually wasn't prepared to actually show you guys what I'm doing. So this is kind of like a, a impromptu Sunday um, dinner. 
So just whisking the cornbread. So this is what cornbread. This builds muscle. <laughs> It should be nice and melted from the skillet. So it's all melted right now. So what we're gonna do, just gonna pour my cornbread batter into the skillet. And what happens is the butter gives it like a nice golden crunch to it when it starts to cook. It is so good. finished cooking and all your dishes are sitting there waiting for you I can't stand that so I am that clean as I cook type of person so now we're about to get started with our rice and um, I um does anybody else season their rice water I like to season my, my rice water that's just me. I don't think I'm alone though. But I um I actually already uh, seasoned my meat and I let it sit and marinate for. It's probably been marinating now about almost four hours. So as soon as I can open this thing of flour, I'm gonna put some. Or flour the pork chops. I don't know why I'm having a hard time opening this flour. Like, what's the problem? And today is such a nice day in Jersey. I think it's like 67. It is so nice outside. Finally. Pork chops on there where the rice is boiling, the cabbage is in the back, and in here is our cornbread. Oh yes, it's going down. So this is this is the finished product. We have our four pork chops, our homemade cornbread, cabbage, and our rice. It's all about to go down. <laughs> so guys, this is my plate. I know it doesn't look pretty, but it tastes so good. So um, I'm actually done. If I was thinking, I would have recorded what the plate looked like prior to me eating this. <laughs> but um, yeah, child, it's, it's the ghetto. I'm back in this body. I'm sorry. But this is... Um, Dinner was actually, it was excellent. It was so good. Uh, this is still the rest of dinner still sitting on the stove. We're going to have to put up. But this is the life of bariatric patients. Like, that's as much as we can eat. Um, my husband over here saying amen because he had, he's had surgery as well. Um, ask us why we still cook a lot of food. And I can't even tell you. Because what's left 
is actually be my lunch or my dinner for tomorrow. Um, so it's it's just the life of a bariatric patient. And all of this coffee and stuff that you see in the back, it belongs to him. Yep. He's an avid coffee drinker. Like, I mean, <laughs> avid. Um, but other than that, uh, it's about it's almost five o'clock. So we're gonna get ready to settle, not settle in for the night, but go in there and watch um, Force. I think that's the name of it. It's yeah, the spinoff of Power with Tommy. So Tommy. we're gonna go in there and do that. And I think that'll be all for tonight. I'm probably I'm more than likely. Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. With you, huh? I'm more than likely not going back out tonight. Um, so I think this is probably be it for for Sunday's vlog portion of the vlog. And uh, yeah, I think that's all. If I think of something else, I'll pick you guys back up. But um, I think that's it. <laughs> Happy Monday, y'all. How are you doing? I know I am looking rough. I know. I just got finished exercising this morning. Um, just wanted to stop by, see how you guys are doing, see how your Monday was going so far. It is uh, 7 12. Uh, so I'm about to just jump in the shower, do you know, do everything I need to do to get ready to start the work day. But I just wanted to pick up the camera and see how you guys are doing. To see, you know, so far, some of you may not even be up yet at this time, but I'm up, I'm ready. I've done my exercise, I've had my prayer. I'm feeling great, ready to get this day started. And um, yeah, so I'll probably come back a little bit later and check on you guys. I just want to just encourage you just to keep going. If you want to exercise, exercise. Even if it starts out with five minutes, five minutes is better than nothing. So get up and do it. You got this, girl. You got this. So tell me why I'm actually at work <laughs> shopping. <laughs> Oh, those are cute. Chef. I don't know. Just tell me why. I'm shopping. And I'm looking at sandals. Why? Because the summer is coming. I'm so optimistic. And I'm actually on Saks Off Fit. So, if I get something, I'll let you know.